Are we live? We're live. Woohoo. Hey. Hello. Morning. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Let's hello. see. Hello, hello. Happy Friday. Let's... Happy Friday. Let's see who is in our trusted Discord. Hey, guys. Hey, Lacey Lumberjack. Uh, How's my host? Can you guys hear me? I can, yeah. Perfect. Yep. Let's see. Well, it's Mr. Trooper. Oh, let's see. Mr. Vulture. Good morning, Mr. Vulture. Who else is here? Biro Eti Lux. I don't know how to read your name, man. Alpha, welcome, guys. Hope you're all doing great. Ah, uh, yes, let's get some likes and sus likes and subscribes. <laughs> I thank you. I keep <laughs> getting asked about that. I always find it to me. So, yeah, what uh, like everybody in the audience doesn't know is that our, our uh, um, the guy who sets up the call, I don't know what your uh, Discord name is there, but um, he's talking in our ears. Oh, it's Paul. Okay. Yeah. So, Paul's talking in our ears and he's saying stuff like, don't forget to say like and subscribe. So it's an interesting experience. Yeah, so like and subscribe, like and subscribe, right? So I'll keep <laughs> saying that every so often so I don't get, you know, called out by Paul. But thank you, Paul, for keeping us on our toes. So, um, okay, so hello, everyone. Welcome to the September 8th AMA. You know, we've been doing this weekly AMA since July last year. We need to share what's going on with everything, the team, the game. Uh, what's coming next? Answer questions, share news. Um, so, yeah, pretty cool. I could, it's been a full, over a full year. Uh, and it's been uh, increasingly interesting to me doing these AMAs and sharing a lot of news with you guys. So thank you for coming. Uh, and, of course, like and subscribe. So, Farmer Michelle, should we get started? Yes, definitely. I think the first thing on our headlines today is to give an update on where we are with the tokenomics and the light paper. The tokenomics and the light paper. Okay, so I'm happy to announce, guys, that the light paper is being drafted right now. It's in, it's in draft, right? So it will have to, um, that will need to be finished uh, uh, a couple of days, and then it will have to go through legal, probably do a little bit back and forth uh, before it can be shared with the community. But we're very, very, very close. Uh, so I'm really happy with that. We have uh, uh, we have a, a group of people working on that, making sure that it, it makes sense. And it has final numbers. It's clear uh, for everybody it's basically, to understand. We, we basically turned it over to Bitbender now, right? For his final massaging and pass that he almost does on everything. Yep. He will have to do a pass on it, yes. Yep. Uh, yep. So he, he probably will be here next week to discuss that with you guys. Um, I'm hoping to have it out as soon as possible, but yeah, it's in draft, so coming very soon. So that's the information we have on that. Last week, we did discuss high level with Sage. So if you want to know what was discussed, uh, go check that out. Of course, that doesn't have uh, numbers attached. The numbers will be in the light paper. Uh, but if you want to have an idea of what's going to happen, you can check out last week's AMA. Yeah, there's some, there's some cool stuff some cool stuff uh as i want to touch on something uh that we talked about uh we will have an emissions model but it will not be the spider tanks emissions model uh just so everybody knows we'll need to be able to share that like i said bitbender is doing a final pass on it we'll get through it and it's going to be cool I'm, I'm actually excited i i think the team's worked hard and we've come up with something new and interesting definitely and, uh, you know, we're trying to reward different behaviors and different people who have different things, earning NFTs, uh, nodes, all those things will be rewarded in the new tokenomics model. So, again, check out last week's AMA. It went a little bit of high-level info uh, from Sage himself. And uh, just be on the lookout for uh, next week and next uh, next Friday, next next Friday's AMA. So what's uh, what's next for him, Joe? Uh, let's go over what rewards went out recently. I think we had some rewards that went out last week. That's correct. So we have the Hasty Foundry Blueprint. That's the reward for the Golden Heart Necklace competition. Uh, that's out. 
And also for the top 25 of the Philly board, uh, we uh, gave them a Rose and Lily NFT, one of the Panner family NFTs. Um, so congratulations, everybody who got your uh, nice rewards. Uh, we have more line up, I think for today or maybe Monday. Uh, so more things uh, being airdropped very soon. Awesome. Uh, take this minute to remind everybody that if they have not yet burnt their town into Gala, that that day is coming up very soon. It's the 15th. That's got to be next week. Yeah, you've got one oh week gosh. left now. I forgot. I still have some left. I you just, should I just probably take at, care of that. <laughs> I looked at it last week. I'm like, whoops. I have to jump onto that. One week left. I'll make sure I make an announcement this week or two so that everybody who yeah. is been procrastinating this whole time. You know, I thought I'd done it. I, I jumped on it early and I'm like, okay, I'm good. And then I was like, wait a minute. I got a little bit more stuff. Still hanging out in the other wallet. So. Yeah, we've been saying this every week for months <laughs> at this point. So I remember guys, like, I'm done. I don't have to think about it anymore. And then you're kind of just stumbling around and you, you're like, wait a minute, what's this? Right. Uh, yeah, so please, um, if you know someone who play the game and uh, may have town laying around, uh, let them know, you know, that we have that for a couple more days, uh, like a, a week or so. Cat Mew, uh, you can play on mobile uh, web version, right? Have you tried that? I'm sorry, what was the question? There's a note in, uh, in the Discord, Will TS, I guess Will TS can play, can be played in mobile soon. I mean, yeah, I mean, we, we went through that whole thing um, like a month ago, right? Yeah. We, a couple of weeks of saying mobile is coming. Uh, we're working on that mobile browser support, that, that is. Uh, so if you guys want to play the game in your phone, you can. You can right now. Both Android and iOS are supported. Um, so go check it out. Cool. So I think that's it for headlines, right? Yeah, let's uh, move on here. We've got, uh, looks like we've got some new hires. We want to talk about what's going on with the team. Yeah, yeah. it's always exciting. Oh, Definitely. you want to take that? Or? Oh, just, just to start. So uh, just so that the community knows, um, we are, uh, we're hiring new people in different positions. Uh, that's our commitment uh, to the game right there to keep it uh, growing, to have new features to improve uh, our um, art pipeline and other things. So we are hiring people and we have some people coming in very soon. So um, Mr. Vulcan, who do we have in engineering? I'm pretty excited about it. Um, he started last week and uh, uh, it's been uh, really good. He was actually a Godot enthusiast and um, a bit of an expert, uh, honestly before he even came here which is great and we were happy to pick him out of uh we had a lot of candidates for that and um one thing that that has been highlighted is that onboarding uh for townstar is really quick um anybody who's listening that's worked in software knows you never really know what to expect when you step into a new company or a new role and um engineering team really deserves a lot of credit for all the work they did to put this into a pleasant and rapid onboarding experience so He's already fixing bugs and uh, working on features. And so that's, back uh, to the Musashi Tower. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Yeah, we have uh, we have this, this new engineer. He's he seems really good. Uh, right now, I've been very impressed with his work. Uh, so we'll have some of his uh, changes to the game being added soon. Uh, he'll work really quickly, as as Brooklyn was saying. So that's pretty cool. Apart from that, we have a couple of artists coming in. Um, we have a 3D artist starting Monday, a couple of days from now. Uh, so that's all always interesting. We want to, you know, uh, improve and uh, improve our process, make them faster, uh, have great art for you guys. Uh, so that person will be working on uh, the art retail and regular content. So that's great. And the thing that I'm really happy about is that we're hiring um, a game designer. Uh, because I was the original game designer on the, on the project and, um, you know, uh, when I came in, but then I was moved to kind of like a team lead position. Um, so with this new game designer that's coming in pretty soon, I'm hoping to uh, have that person, you know, 
uh, work with the um, uh, Farmer Mitchell and uh, the community and um, Sera Sera, uh to have uh, new storylines, new content, new buildings, new NFTs. Um, and I can concentrate on other stuff, <laughs> like, like whipping the team. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> You so, can concentrate uh, on the huge cool ideas that are coming up and setting up the roadmap and everything. I think that's definitely cool. so that's that's my main concern. I'm working on roadmap as I as I discussed last week. Uh so roadmap is my main focus right now, new features and everything that ties into the tokenomic tokenomics plan, right? So as you know, tokenomics on its own, it's not it's it's important, but then what feeds into it or what are the things? For the tokens that you're gonna get or whatever it is reward you're getting so i'm working on that and i want someone to be able to focus solely on uh content and competition for you guys so someone new coming in hopefully very soon so the team is growing that's great for me great for you guys uh hopefully great for everybody i'm so, definitely um, excited too yeah Farah Mitchell has been great, by the way. Uh, I don't know if you guys know it, but she's um, uh, she's been stepping into some design uh, uh, design documentation, you know, work on competitions, and uh, she's been doing really great. So I'm really happy with her contribution to that. Thanks. I I wish I had my clapping uh, thing set up. Too. <laughs> there we go. Yay! There we go. <laughs> okay. All right, let's move on. Uh, let's talk about Halloween. I know we talked about Halloween a little bit last week, but we've got some more stuff to talk about this week. Uh, a little bit. Let's see. So we discussed um, that we've had a Halloween theme NFTs uh, two years in a row. We had the um, Haunted Mansion, and then we had the uh, Haunted Maze, right? Uh, but this year we have something which i'm i'm sharing here in um in discord so uh again uh ignore the cinder block <laughs> that's a, <there's> a <laughs> that's a placeholder right but the idea of this this image is this is like that how the nfts will look in open sea you know uh when you get it uh they all will have uh, that background image and where the cinder block is uh, you'll get the building or like a, you know, like a 3D image of the, um, of the specific building. Are they going to uh, have those weird we... sticks poking out the side too? Yeah, because that's creepy, right? No, that's not true. Um, <laughs> so I'm just saying you can kind of guess what the theme is going to be uh, this, this year. Uh, feel free to drop in comments in Discord. Let us know what you think. Uh, but we have our art team working really hard at this. So that's a sneak peek. Uh, I think it's it's gonna be pretty cool, and if you can guess the theme, let us know. I love that NFT art; it looks beautiful. The background is so cool with the um, popcorn on the bottom. I'm laughing because I see uh, one agent saying how in tofu and that's the road look like a spooky block. It is kind <laughs> of like a, a spooky block. Uh, concentrate on everything except the block, guys. That's just so that we don't uh, <laughs> spoil everything for you guys right away. Uh, the next thing on our list of things to talk about here looks like the roadmap. Let's do some roadmap discussion. Roadmap. Yeah, so we continue working on roadmap, guys. We expect to share with you around the same time as the light paper goes out. Um, but I can mention some of the features that we're discussing, right? So. Let me just go through them very quickly so you can get a, an idea of where we're heading with the game. Uh, I think it's going to be super important when we when we release it and we start, you know, uh, trying to attract new players, saying, hey, this is this is where the game is headed. But one thing is upgradable NFTs, right? So upgradable NFTs is something that I'm working on right now uh, in design. Um, we have upgrade items. I'm hoping those upgrade items to be on chain. So what does that mean? It means that you can get uh, upgrade items in the game through different means. You can also buy them, of course. But uh, if you don't need them, you can trade them, right? Uh, because they will be needed for the upgrade NFTs. Uh, we have the idea of including gems. If you play Champions Arena, uh, and if you haven't, please do. It's a great game that we just released. 
uh, they have uh, a premium currency called gems, right? So we're, we're hoping to get some of that in the game to make it easier to buy certain things, right? Uh, for a wider audience. And what kind of things we're expecting people to get? Well, we have a plan for a temporary boost, right? So you can say, hey, I want to boost my, uh, I don't know, all my, um, all my units by 5% for 10 minutes, right? So you can buy that boost with a variety, you know, a variety of ways, including gems. The other thing that we're getting into the roadmap is uh, no NFT competitions, right? So, um, or also NFT restricted or boosted NFT boosting competitions, right? So that means that we want to have a couple of different types of competitions. Uh, if we have a non-NFT competition, you got to know that the reward, uh, the pot is going to be, of course, smaller than the one for the NFT competitions, the normal ones. Uh, but we know that there's a lot of people, especially if we want new players to come in, to be able to compete at a, a, like a, a, um, a fair ground, right? doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to have an edge in different ways, right? Uh, that's something that's coming down the pipeline, like we're going to discuss later. But uh, yeah, no NFT competitions in some capacity uh, with smaller pot prices. Um, we have a, an idea for a battle pass to increase your rewards. And of course, uh, one of the things that I want to do, which is randomize starter towns. Uh, so randomized starter towns is important um, because it's going to create more variety in how the competitions are played, right? I think that's, that's pretty interesting. So those are the main higher level things that I'm willing to share right now for the game's roadmap. I'm, I'm hoping that you find it interesting, that you share some of your ideas. I see that people are just starting to answer what the <laughs> what they think the Halloween theme is going to be. So I'm hoping that um, you're getting this other section in, uh, soaking that in. So yeah, that's a, a general update on the game's roadmap. That's my main focus. Uh, so, I, I, you know, what I'm, I'm wondering is if uh, people actually really kind of grok or understand all of those things that you just said, because um, you're hitting on what I call a bunch of fundamental game design vectors, growing the space, creating a lot of open room uh, for a whole huge ton of innovation going forward. I'm sure everybody knows that. So maybe. Maybe next week we spend a little more time going deeper into it or something. Or if everybody already knows, just just pipe up and say, "Yeah, we get it." No, I, I, yeah, you're totally right. I expect people to not not everyone to fully understand each one of them, but um, that's why we'll have a roadmap and yeah. a further discussion, right? So this is just a high level. I want to share the things yeah. we're working on. Uh, I think that agreeable NFTs and upgrade items on chain by themselves are a pretty big change. That's a big change. Then you said gems too. I remember a year ago, everybody's like gems, gems, gems. Tell us about gems. Yeah, I mean the problem with gems <laughs> was what do you spend them on, right? So that's yeah, that's yeah. kind of what we needed to solve first. Like, what are we going to add, and what would you be able to spend your gems on? And these yeah. gems, you 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 don't only buy them, right? You can buy them, of course. If you check Champions Arena, you can buy those gem packs, but you can also earn them, right? You can. Yeah participate in competitions, uh, you can get this kind of premium currency, uh, you can use it in different things. Um, and if you get the upgrade items also from competitions or from daily login bonus and other stuff, uh, and maybe you don't need it, you can just sell it, right? You can just say, hey, I don't need these upgrade, upgrade items. Does anybody want them, right? Yeah. Uh, and it's like an be... iceberg. It's like an iceberg kind of feature that I call it, right? The top level, you hear gems, you're like, oh, that sounds cool. But then everything else that's uh, that you're talking about, um, is under the water most people don't see. I think there's there's going to be some cool stuff there. And to your point, um, it's not just saying, yeah, we have gems. What do we spend them on? What, what parts of the game are we going to change, upgrade it, and evolve to have uh, use of them? So I'm, I'm excited. If you guys can tell, I'm, I'm excited. And I know that sasha has been working on this for a long time. Yeah, I see that there are some comments in this group like, oh, well, it's important if we have six for, for those gems. That's exactly why we needed to work on this roadmap. Like what things are we gonna create for gems and for any currency that we apply to the game. So that's a high level. Um, I don't wanna go into more details, but um, when we have the, 
the roadmap out, we'll have more information and we can have a discussion for each one of these features uh, in, um, in subsequent AMAs. So um, yeah, just be on the lookout. I think this will be an awesome change to the game. So what's uh, next, Farmer Mitchell? Uh, I think we should probably move on to art. We got any art, Sage? Oh, we sure do. Let nice. me just let me drop it in there. I'm going to start dropping some really quick here. The first set is uh, about our lovely Sphere of Hope. I'm going to drop in three right now so you guys can see it. I'm sharing this because it gives a little bit of a, uh, just a tiny look into behind the scenes uh, of what we're doing. If you look at the first image there, you could see the original and then the updated. Uh, and we were looking at it, I'm like, man, that, that kind of top thing, floaty thing on top is kind of messy. Um, but we've seen that before. So let's go let's go take some inspiration some from some of the past work, and you can just see how it's evolved there. Take, you know, uh, take the top from another piece, pop it on this one, clean it up. And we've got something that's a little bit better. That's still work in progress. But I just want to kind of share a little bit about behind the scenes, what's happening there. Next couple of things here, just some cool art that we're updating. And I pop that, should load up in a heartbeat there. Um, again, you know, it's talking about candy cage storage, but the last one there, the power, it's not the power plant. <laughs> there's, a, there's a wrong name on that. Uh, the fabric plant, right? Uh, when you look at the, the end picture there, the new version actually has um, almost well, it has less than the uh, number of triangles that were in the current version. And we talk about this and I'm going to keep talking about it because we know that even with Godot and the better performance, better in-game performance, um, we still want to keep pushing down the number of triangles because of course we have plans for some of that new performance that is going to come later. Let's see, uh, what am I next? Uh, here's a, this next one here is the Santa factory. I just like it because it had some interesting and unique challenges to solve in terms of up oh, the pop up there. I didn't see it got shared. Let me go ahead and drop it in again. Unique. Oh, it did. Where did it go? I don't see it on my screen. I see it. Okay. Awesome. Oh, maybe my discord's choking out on it. Oh, there it is. It finally popped up. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, when you look at that, some of the challenges, when you look at the original 3D model there, you have, I mean, you see the, the, the cone kind of overlapping the smokestacks there. And so we wanted to kind of just separate that out, give it a little more visual space, make it a little cleaner. And, you know, in the process, almost cut the number of triangles in half, right? So some cool coolness happening there. And the last one, this is just a, uh, of the catch-all mishmash everything that we're putting on there um, and this is what we use as we go through the art review each day and you can just see some of the updates that we're working on we got the, the candy cane stories there the fabric plant and all that stuff work in progress as well as through hope and oh my gosh there's a little bit of ox stuff coming in there too and of course haunted maze so work continues on um Masashi promised me, promises me that very, very soon we'll start dropping it into the game. And yeah, that's all we got for art. Wait, somebody said, who is this? No free lunch says, it's probably count. Not important anymore. Sure it is. It always is. I'm not sure what that article says, but yeah, it always is. Yeah, I, I saw that too. I was like, what? Like in every <laughs> single game I've worked on, we have to have a max amount of uh, triangles, max amount of follies. Um, yeah, it always is. It always is. Yeah. Even like someone saying, not even for this for this small game. Yeah, like this game is intense. You have so you have sixteen by sixteen, right? Uh, so that's uh, two hundred and fifty six squares where you can have uh, big buildings. We also have smaller buildings, and each one of them uh, has polygons, you know, triangles, and uh, you know it. It's a lot, plus everything else that's going on in the screen. So holy count is definitely important, even for this game. Uh, so that's why we need to um, make sure that it's optimal, right? Uh, as we said, we had a 3D artist come in uh, Monday. So that like he'll 
that that will be his first question. Like, what's my max polygon? What's my, my max? You're polygon? right. That will be right. It's like tell me the polygons, right? Tell me, yeah, tell, tell me my budget. budget. Tell yeah, me my, my budget. budget. Yeah. Correct. Uh, that's how they call it, the budget. So um, the other thing you know, is, we have we have some people asking like, oh, the game runs a little slow, or or this or that, and this will help with that, right? Especially when we move uh, to mobile. Sorry, Sage, go ahead. I was going to say the other thing that people um, don't really take into account is when we want to do, you know, uh, different effects. You know, as we do the lighting effects, it takes a little bit more performance. As we talk about getting ambient occlusion turned on, that takes a little bit more GPU performance. We add smoke mm -hmm. coming out, lights at night, all those kind of things. So we definitely, definitely just got to be really, uh, really stingy with the number of polys that we put up there. So thank All you right. for that uh, our resale. Yeah, Farmer Michelle, take it away. Thanks, Sage. Yeah, that was a great talk about polygons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nerd alert. Volcar's <laughs> not the only nerd. Volcar's not the only nerd. It's good you gave me a chance to drink some more Red Bull while I was listening, so thank you. I'm more awake now than I was before. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's move Red on to Bull. game updates. <laughs> let's talk about what uh, what fixes went in this week. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, let's see, uh, we have a couple of releases this week and we have a bunch of fixes. So uh, we have enhancements to analytics. Uh, we have uh, some visual fixes uh, with leaderboards, uh, sorry, uh, visual issues with leaderboards that were fixed, uh, mostly about streaming and uh, some were out of order sometimes, uh, but that were, they were all visual issues, they were fixed. Um, uh, we were showing the total wage amount in the building's UI card now in the store. Uh, so remember, that if you had a, a building that had multiple workers, uh, sometimes it would show just the wage for one of them. So that should be fixed. Uh, the trade animation out of sync with trade completing should be fixed. Uh, craft timers change to blue when buffs are applied. Uh, fix. Uh, we had an issue with the uh, MAMA panner. Um, when the when the whole family is placed and she was removed and replaced, uh, the forges would had a hiccup. Uh, that's fixed. And uh, we had some problem with the fireworks. Uh, they were uh, disabled for a couple of days. They were re-enabled with a hot fix uh, earlier to, er, earlier this week. Now for features, we are uh, we added star count in cache mode, which is something that people were clamoring for for a long time. So that that's going to be very useful, guys. And we also added the uh, social media buttons in the main menu. And for data, uh, we added the Oopsie 23 NFT. I'm hoping that you guys are, are using it well. It's a pretty fun NFT. And also the Blueprint Hasty Foundry NFTs. And of course, the competitions, uh, jewelry set and test jewelry set. Um, uh, jewelry set competition is ending now. Um, so um, yeah, those. Like a, a bunch of things went in this week. Hoping you guys like them, uh, like the fixes, and of course the the Oops NFT from my family now. So those are the game updates. Any questions there? Nope. I see someone commenting about uh, trying not to do updates after the competition has started. We do try our best not to. This week we tried to get the fireworks in before it started, but it didn't make it in time so we did end up pushing that update what like 45 minutes into the event but that was a you know it's a big deal we needed the fireworks to be in there and working so that was why that one happened after the event started but generally we do try not to do any updates after the competition starts Definitely. Um, let's see here what do we got next uh i've lost my place in our schedule or i think we're talking about what we're doing this week the features and changes coming this week so what's coming up next for the game right so uh we just had a little discussion on what's coming made in long term right the roadmap stuff uh big features uh, really fun but then we have some things that are already in the works to our lineup um so first off we have a new competition starting next tuesday as uh as it's been the norm for a few weeks there will be a test competition running Saturday to Monday, right? So you can get your builds in, you can test it. Uh, Cash Promo will also, will also have that uh, meta. Uh, so you can try there, especially now with the stars, uh, the star count in Cash Mode. So be prepared for that. We'll have more information on that in a, in a little bit. 
Then regarding features, we have FTUE that actually went into QA well, like an hour ago. So um, I'm hoping FTUE will be done and out next Friday, more or less. Um, we need to fit with it, but it's, it's looking great. I'm hoping that new players will find the game a little bit more um, easy to understand, right? Uh, for example, now that we're, we're hiring a bunch of people, um, <laughs> The first thing that we ask uh, people uh, that we're interviewing is like, hey, did you play the game? I was like, yes, I played it, but it's kind of confusing. <laughs> it doesn't explain itself too well. And that's true, right? So that's why FTV is very important to me and for the team. Uh, so that's done. It needs to be tested and then will be released. Uh, then Gala Team is still in progress. We have around two to three weeks remaining of work for that. So we've discussed that at length before. Then for notes, uh, I'm happy to announce that IPFS implementation is done. So we are already supporting IPFS. Um, uh, we actually, I think that in today's release, we'll be grabbing some file from IPFS, like for the competition card and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's our first um, implementation regarding nodes. And in the tokenomics plan, you'll see uh, when that's released, how nodes will be rewarded for providing services for the game. So IPFS, first implementation, already done. And then for quality of life improvements, we have the trade timer info in progress, which was a suge suggestion in like two weeks ago, AMA. So that's uh, that's in progress right now. Uh, and we have new towns on the main menu or competition menu uh, also in progress. So those are the things that are coming short term to the game. Are there any questions there for those things? Uh, I don't see any questions about anything that you just said. They may come up as we move forward, though. Let's move oh, on. Okay. To looks like we're moving on to Q and A. The first question I have, which was submitted, which was not a question, but I'm going to read it anyway. It says, I just want to give a shout out to the Townstar team. Thank you for all your hard work. I can see that all the improvements you guys have made and your hard work is appreciated. Smiley face. Aw. That's sweet. Oh, that's nice. That's Who super said sweet. that? Is it anonymous? Yeah, it's anonymous, so I don't know. Yeah. Uh, th thanks, Volkron. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Yeah, that was really, that's stuff like that is really nice to hear, you know, as devs and, and pretty much anybody in tech, your whole job is either working on something that's not finished or fixing something that needs fixing. And um, it sometimes it can be a long time between the happy brain chemicals and it nice words. Uh, occasionally, I even get DMs from like Nacho G, Christopher, uh, Magnum Opus, some BTB folks, Lonely Island, etc. It's it's really nice to get kind words like that. So thanks again. It's good to read that. Uh, the next question I have here says, why doesn't Gala try to partner like other companies with partnerships at Townstar making famous brand products in the city like snacks, cars, sweets, clothes, etc." So why? Uh, why? Good question. Good question. Why not, Masashi? Why not, man? Why? I would say that we, <laughs> I'm blogging everything. Like, yeah, I'm the bad guy here. No, so, so we've had a couple of partnerships before, um, but right now we're looking at internal partnerships, right? So lots of discussion with Gala Film, Gala Music, uh, other games. By the way, you should check out Champions Arena if you haven't. Uh, it's a great game, uh, very different from Soundstar, of course. It's more like a hero collector and an RPG, mobile RPG, but you should check it out. Uh, we have some discussions with them. Uh, so a lot of internal partnerships, but we may have something coming down the pipeline, but it's too early to say, right, Sage? Absolutely too early. Don't, don't Tom Holland us, man. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm not going to say anything. So um, there's some partnership that may, may or may not come in the future. Uh, uh, you're killing me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm just joking. So, um, yeah, so uh, lots of discussions with internal teams. Check out the other games. Champions Arena is is doing great, by the way, so check that out. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my answer there. 
Uh, the next question I have here just says town node question mark. We just town... talked about that. <laughs> a town oh, node question mark. Yeah, but very quickly, yeah. So I think the question is town node question mark. And the answer is yes, town nodes, <laughs> uh, period. So uh, as I said before, we are reading files from IPFS, uh, or we will, we will be reading files from IPFS later today, uh, which was our first promise regarding nodes. Um, so that's the first plan feature, but it is not the last. And also, as you know, town nodes will get an allocation of earnings once the new tokenomics is released. Now that's not for free, right? In the sense that we will be using nodes for different things, right? So they will be, they will be providing services to the game and to the other play players, and at the same time providing functionality to the town uh, node owners, right? So I think that's pretty cool, but yeah, we, we started our um, our first implementation, we finished it, and we're really happy with that. So IPFS already is part of town. That's exciting. Looks like someone is asking for a deeper explanation on what IPFS is. Oh, so, oh, maybe I'm just realizing that maybe I'm, uh, you know, talking game design and game development. So first of all, I saw one question, which was uh, FTUE question mark. I'm sorry, that's that's the game developer talk for tutorial, right? So when we're discussing FTUE, that's it. Uh, now, regarding the question here is, um, let's see. The question was IPFS, that's interplanetary file system, right? So interplanetary file system is um, it's pretty cool. And uh, town nodes, as I think all nodes in the company do, they serve as a pod or part of a swarm for IPFS, right? So that means that they are part of a, a, a group of machines that are providing different files, right? So what we're doing is, okay, so town nodes are part of this swarm. They serve up IPFS files. So what we're doing is uploading these files to IPFS, and then we're using that. Um, so that's how the town nodes are servicing the game. Is that clear? Is that a better explanation? I definitely think it helps. If anyone else has any questions, let us know. Um, the next question I have here in the AMA forum says, can you address the latest stability issues we experienced at the beginning of the past competition? Also, why do an update an hour after the competition started? Hmm. Um, yeah, I'll take that one. It's um, anybody who's been listening to our AMAs since January or so knows we put a whole lot of work into being able to hot fix the game um, quickly. And, uh, you know, some games you work on and it, it can take like 24 hours to get a build and get it out there. So ours is actually measured in minutes. Um, and that's good. The trade-off is when we see something in uh, production in the live game that we know is going to impact the competition, we all have to huddle and say, like, well, are we going to interrupt the competition to push this update? Now, as a player, you're wondering, like, why would that even interrupt the competition? Well, there's two reasons. One is we're still working on our over-the-air updates. Um, needs improvement, but it's a work in progress. And the other is the server boot up time. So because you have over-the-air still work in progress, some data means the servers have to be rebooted to pick it up. And um, the server boot times are a little slower than we'd want them to be. So that those are the two contributing factors and uh, we do our best not to interfere with anything you know any live competitions but sometimes um farmer michelle misashi somebody will look at like a bug that's live or missing data that's live and say hey we have to get this out there right now so i hope that clears it up yeah it definitely helps do I have any other live questions? I think that that's all There's that a, I have. In the people form. asking about wrap. Are we gonna are we gonna tie uh, Townstar into wrap? Absolutely, absolutely. I love wrap. It was actually uh, created by one of the former uh, Zoom teammates. So it's pretty cool. 
Are there any live so questions we... out there? Oh, I didn't hear that last part. You said it was one of the former what? Uh, former teammate from Zynga. Uh, oh. Created it and built it. Um, it. It's going to add a lot of the social features that we want and have been wanting to add forever. Oh, nice. So it's, uh, I'm super excited about it. Yeah, I'm definitely super excited about Rep also. Hmm. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. Yeah, I think we're going to talk about the sale coming up this week. If there's no other live questions, if there are, I will make sure to gather them and we'll just ask them at the end. Let's see. So the sale item is the Nourish Barn. So uh, the Nourish Barn NFT, when placed, will reduce the feed and water requirement of other in-game and NFT barns in a one tile radius by three. So the Nourish Barn itself requires three less water and feed because its utility applies to itself also. I'm sharing the image here. So Nourish Barn. Uh, can you see it in Discord? Ah, that's a pretty pretty gift uh, that is provided by our very own one agent uh, or top. So um, in addition to that, the Nourish Barn will have an additional cow unit for a total of two cows that move as fast as the fancy cows. There's a supply of 350 uh, and the price will be $300 discounted to $250 until the competition ends. So that's coming out Monday, guys. That's Monday 11th. The Nourish Barn will be available. Uh, and I think that ties into what we're going to talk next, which is, well, leaks for the next competition, right? Yeah, uh, as a reminder for the NFT sale on Monday, uh, credit card sales will likely still be paused. <clears throat> so plan ahead if you want to buy it. You're probably going to need Gala since there's no credit card sales. So plan early. Um, let's see, do we have any? That's it for that. We got the current competition. Is set to end here pretty soon. That's for the jewelry sets. Hopefully everybody likes jewelry sets. Did everybody like the changes that we made to bracelets and earrings? Hopefully it made it a little bit easier to balance. I know a lot of the problems and the concerns people were having with jewelry metas in general were balancing issues because there were so many different steps along the way. So let me know. Feel free to send us your feedback. The reward for that is the Crafty Meadows. That yeah, should be I... sent out, I would imagine later today or early next week. That's usually when they go out. I, I just shared the image for all Crafty Meadows uh, in Discord, guys. Uh, as you can guess, given the sale item for Monday, uh, the Crafty Meadows will be important in next week's meta. Is that correct, Father Michelle? Yeah, a lot of people use meadows when they're doing milk and things. <laughs> Uh, so let's move right on to the next competition, which is going to be baguettes. I did see some people guessing when I asked people to guess earlier this week. So anybody who guessed baguettes, you got it right. So Tuesday's competition is going to be baguettes. The reward for that will be a bulky storehouse, which I also think some people saw because we did get it minted yesterday. So that bulky storehouse blueprint will increase the storage capacity of your storehouses for your in-game storehouse, your uh, NFT storehouses, not the item specific ones, but the generalized ones like the, the Epic Big Storehouse and the, the Supreme Storehouse. I forget what they're called, but that is what that will do. So again, that competition is baguettes. Um, let's see here. It's going to be Forest North for a biome. And the edges on that are going to be North Forest East mountain south ocean and west river there's i'll post that in the chat so everyone can see it i just posted it sweet thank you so much uh trade time for that's going to be 30 seconds and will still be one gas the cash boosted item this week is going to be milk it's only going to be doubled so it's going to be from four thousand to eight thousand each And let's see, that's all I've got for information on the baguette competition. Right, let's see. 
we have the uh, the reward for it too, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the bulky storehouse. I just talked about it. Yeah, I just missed the the queue to get it, get the image. Oh, <laughs> get it. Image. So bulky storehouse blueprint. Blue. I'm sorry, my. There it is. So that's a bulky storehouse, guys. It's pretty awesome. Again, uh, one agent uh, with the amazing assist here. So nice. hope you like it. As you know, we're trying to tie the, the rewards to the next competition. So just be aware of that. Though. Like every single blueprint will be important in the subsequent competition. Isn't that right, Michelle? Yeah, it's like every blueprint reward for the week is really a leak for what the next event's going to be, if you think about it. Awesome. What else are we missing? I think I share oh. most of the information for the competition. Yeah, that's all I've got on the agenda. So now we've just got live questions. If anyone has any other live questions. Like and subscribe. Just Definitely do that. <laughs> I got a thank you from Paul in my ear, so I'm happy with that. Uh, See, so, Madam Gem uh, asked, can you add more info to the game crafts? For example, when you click on milk, it lets you know that you need feed and wood and water. And yeah, we've talked about that before for updating some of the, the UI and the store pages so that they show more information. That is mm -hmm. definitely something that we're looking into. Let's see. Um, do we say some more leaks for next week meta? I mean, we leak everything, right? <laughs> what, what else is there uh, to say? Uh, let's see. Any other questions? I see that's the road saying this competition was quite a challenge to me, but I still enjoy it. Um, you mean you'll reset? Oh, I, we're trying to build, as we said before, we're trying to build on top of, you know, all their competitions and also bring in all their lines. Uh, that's what we did with the golden heart necklace. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ideation around competitions. We're trying to make them more interesting. Uh, not only like new things, like, oh, only jewelry. No, it's jewelry plus, this this or that right um and also mix it in with with at least two weeks of all the competition and that's why we have baguettes next week so i'm hoping you guys enjoy baguette next week it's gonna be pretty fun uh anything else what is the problem with cc payments uh you have more information on that right farmer michelle yeah we're just getting a different provider so it's not a huge deal we're just switching from circle to someone else It'll be yeah. back eventually. Uh, Mr. Bulkrum, did you see any questions there? Catching up still. One sec. Are we still getting gala and NFT for competitions? Yes, none of that has changed. The reward structure is still the same. Mm. I'm reading through it too. So in the meantime, I'll just say, you know, like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, like I don't see any other live questions. If we don't have anything else to talk about on the team, we can probably call it. It's almost it's almost been an hour anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was it was a lot of information today. So just a recap, guys. Uh, we have um, uh, light paper in draft so that's being drafted right now we have a uh, roadmap work that ties into the economics plan and the light paper uh, i share a bunch of new features that we're working on uh, in the design phase for that uh, we have uh, immediate things being worked on ftue gala chain sorry ftue tutorial gala chain uh, nodes ipfs is done so we implemented our first node integration and quality of life improvements, trade timer info, and nuke towns from the main menu or competition menu. 
Um, I think that's like the high level plus leaks for next week's meta, uh, uh, competition rewards, and of course our sale item Monday is going to be the Nourish Barn, three fifty available, three hundred dollars discounted to two hundred and fifty until the end of next week's competition. So yeah, if there's nothing more, I think that we can call it for today, right, guys? Right. Thanks, everybody. Cool. Yeah, thank you thank so you. much. Have a good day and like and subscribe. Bye, guys. <laughs> See everybody later. Thanks Bye. for joining us, guys.